Welcome back to another episode of Rocket Boom Tech. Today I'm going to show you some more applications that I've found, and they're mostly available for both Mac and Windows. On a day-to-day -day basis, I use my Mac OS, but sometimes I like to start up Boot Camp and kind of play around with Windows to test out software and to practice using the interface. I'd also like to add that none of these companies have asked me to showcase their applications. They're just things that I found that I liked and I wanted to share with you. While I'm working, I have to multitask so much that I pretty much have to have quasi-ADD. So that's where Things comes in to help. Things is a great app that's won many design awards but runs on Mac only. With a quick keystroke of your choosing, you can add something that needs to be done by date, time, priority. It's easy to know where and when you're doing something. You can also drag and drop links, photos, and many other virtual items into your schedule to make it more dynamic and useful than something such as Google Calendar. And another plus, it automatically syncs with your iPhone. There's a minimal charge for the application, but it's worth every penny. Speaking of planning your day, if you have a conference call or you're working remotely, TeamViewer might be a good solution for your company meeting that works on both Mac and Windows. It's very fast to install. You can access or view presentations or go into your own computer at work or coworkers to grab that important file by using and inputting a personal code number and password designated to each individual computer. And yes, I know that there's built-in software that does about the same thing on Windows and Macs, but this makes things so much easier and it's cross-platform compatible. It gets rid of the configuration headaches and is very stable. Simple, easy, and fast. I don't know about you, but during my workday, I check my RSS feed, I look at Twitter, I go through my Tumblr feed, I add content to my blog, just to name a few. So to become more efficient and less distracted, I started using something called self-control. Self-control is a brutal yet useful app that is usually very necessary. It simply and absolutely blocks your incoming and outgoing email servers in general on your computer for a specified amount of time you initially choose. Whether you like it or not, it will block every incoming and outgoing message, thus allowing you to become the usually productive self that you are. Speaking of all the sites you belong to and things you do online, do you ever get frustrated trying to keep track of all of your passwords and which one's what and what to type in? Well, I do. and. To kind of take care of that frustration, I use something called LastPass. LastPass is a password manager and form filler that's been heavily scrutinized by me and other techies. I have to say that this is the best out of all I've tried. It's safe and you can manage hundreds of different passwords if you want to go without the usual frustration of trying to figure out which password goes with what usernames or websites. It's a simple Firefox add-on that works on many other browsers as well. Try it out. So while you're surfing the web using complicated usernames and very complicated passwords, you're probably listening to music in the background, and I would bet that you're probably using iTunes. Well, I suggest you try something different, and it's called Songbird. It was released in 2006 and has always stayed ahead of the curve compared to iTunes as a music player with its add-ons. It'll find missing album covers for your songs, get lyrics for your music, and if your MP3 or other file, which it plays most of them, even the unusual ones, doesn't have a name, it'll try and find it. It will also find concert tickets for your favorite artist or whichever one you're playing at the time, as well as many other things via simple plugins. It'll also link to YouTube videos, Flickr photos, go explore. Songbird can also be used as a personal DJ if you're in the party mood. And if you are, I suggest a really cool application that doesn't do much but is so fun called Party Booth. You simply install the small app and it detects any camera in your computer, then turns it into an old-fashioned photo booth. You can just set it up at your party and the guests will do the rest. You can also personalize the photos and have them automatically print. Non-chaperone photographs are sure to be a big hit. Let me know which applications you used and which ones you found most helpful. If you have any suggestions, please send them to rbtech at rockboom.com. I'm Ellie Roundtree, and this has been Rockboom Tech.